Right, so Apple's first gen VR headset is yet to launch and somehow we already have details about the second gen version launching in 2024. What is going on? I am so confused and puzzled. But anyways, this is coming from a credible source and so let's delve into it. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours. And with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so our favourite supply chain source, Min Chi Kuo, gives us this report regarding the second gen Apple VR headset. And well, to be honest, the information he gives us isn't that groundbreaking. For example, he says that development for the second gen headset has already begun, which makes sense, since Apple usually works way in advance, and so I'm sure they have early plans for the third gen headset too. But Quo does say the second gen headset should be going into mass production at the end of 2022, and then of course, we see a release in the second half of 2024. Now to be fair, those dates do kinda confuse me because why is the headset going into mass production at the end of 2022 if it's releasing in around September to November 2024? Now I could be wrong, but I don't think mass production for this headset is going to take one full year because of course this is going to be the second version. So surely Apple's resolved the production issues they might have faced with the first gen headset. And so yes, I do have a feeling that Quo might be wrong about these dates and we could see the release in 2024. Then again, much like the Apple Watch, maybe the first gen headset only releases to the public in early 2023 after, of course, the late 2022 announcement. And so because technically the first gen headset launches in 2023, that of course could push back the release of the second gen headset. Anyways, coming to the changes with the second gen VR headset, the pretty standard stuff. So Quo says we could see a lighter weight, a slight change to the design, a new battery system, and also a new chip. And well, that's usually the upgrades we see on a year over year basis. And so yeah, this news is not really that surprising. I do want to mention one thing though, and that is regarding the weight, I was wondering how Apple would make this even lighter than it already is. Since Quo has said in the past, this could be under 150 grams, which is a lot lighter than the competition. But now in today's report, Quo says the first gen headset is going to be around 300 to 400 grams, which of course is pretty much on par with the competition. So yeah, for some reason the weight has dramatically increased with the first gen pair, so I do think with the second gen, they can nail down the tech they were initially planning to give us with the first gen pair and make the headsets super light. But yeah, the other upgrades, like the better battery life and the faster performance, is to be expected. But tell me in the comments below guys, what would be the dream feature for you with this headset? Anyways, thank you for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours. Check out the video in the code above on details regarding the iPod Touch 8. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.